Chapter 1081, Counter Soldiers with Arms, the fruits of victory had fallen into her pockets, and Shen Yang Xiao's face was full of smiles. At the banquet, it was natural to eat and drink. Shen Yang Xiao's mood was cheerful and her appetite became even larger. On the contrary, Elder Wen was eating without tasting the food. Although he was pretending to be calm on the surface, his eyes would look outside the door from time to time. Liu Fan's expression was very calm, but the look in his eyes was a bit sinister. Sister, Lan Feng Lai suddenly frowned slightly, whispering beside Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao raised her eyebrows a little. There are a group of experts, Lan Feng Lai said as he squinted his eyes. The strength of Lan Feng Lai had far surpassed that of the mythological beasts and his perception was almost as good as Xu's. This was why Shen Yang Xiao had brought him along this time. How many people? Shen Yang Xiao continued to eat as she asked quietly. Lan Feng Lai paused for a moment before he answered, 10. What's their strength? For Lan Feng Lai to consider them experts, they must be second stage professionals and above. The Broken Star Palace sure used a big hand this time actually sending ten or more second stage professionals. It seemed that they really wanted to take her down now. Lan Feng Lai closed his eyes, took a deep breath, and continued to expand his perception, checking carefully the strength of that group of uninvited guests. There are nine people whose strength is quite equal with Yan Yu and others, and there is one person whose strength can be compared with Cheeksia. With Cheeksia, Shen Yang Xiao was slightly stunned. As early as when she was still a primary professional, Cheeksia was already just shy of the second stage profession. At the time of the school tournament, Cheeksia had broken through the second stage and became a magister. When Yan Yu and others had finally broken through the second stage, Cheeksia's strength had also grown another level, and he was now a great magister. Didn't that mean that the Broken Star Palace also sent a great magister to deal with her? Shen Yang Xiao sneered inwardly. They really think highly of me. She had just broken through the second stage, and only had one mythological beast to aid her. To think that the other party had actually sent a second stage great professional and nine second stage professionals to deal with her. They really planned to take her down with a huge blow. Sister, would you like me to handle them? Lan Feng Lai looked at Shen Yang Xiao's face and volunteered to take care of the enemies. Shen Yang Xiao appeared a bit hesitant. Lan Feng Lai was very strong, but she was still not clear on the extent of his strength. For the moment, except for Xu, everyone around her, including the six mythological beasts and the most powerful Cheeksia, were not the opponents of Lan Feng Lai. However, could Lan Feng Lai really stand his ground alone against nine second stage professionals and one great professional? Are you sure? Shen Yang Xiao did not want Lan Feng Lai to take risks. Lan Feng Lai thought for a moment. He looked like to be calculating his odds of winning, then nodded firmly afterward. I can take care of them. Shen Yang Xiao's heart was quite a bit surprised. The strength of these ten people from the Broken Star Palace was really tyrannical. Just that second stage great professional alone was already a huge threat to Shen Yang Xiao. She truly didn't expect that Lan Feng Lai could judge the disparity between the two sides in a short period of time and still be so confident. Just how strong was Lan Feng Lai in the end? Shen Yang Xiao could not help but fall into a deep thought. Sister, Lan Feng Lai was waiting for Shen Yang Xiao's answer and couldn't help but call out to her. Shen Yang Xiao recovered her senses and looked straight at the clear eyes of Lan Feng Lai, smiling slightly. Chapter 1082, Counter Soldiers with Arms, 3. Little Feng, do you want to see a group of idiots follow the path to their own doom? Shen Yang Xiao's eyes flashed with a vile light. Lan Feng Lai was puzzled. For the time being, don't worry about them. I will tell you when it's time to get rid of them. Shen Yang Xiao said, clipping a sour pork rib with her chopsticks and sending it into the small mouth of Lan Feng Lai. Lan Feng Lai blinked his eyes and obediently nodded his head. Although he didn't know what exactly his sister meant, whatever she wanted to do. He would listen to her arrangements without any doubt. Elder Wen's expression looked erratic. Suddenly, at the entrance of the hall, a guard rushed in. Report reporting to Elder Wen. The guard was pale and was covered with sweat. Elder Wen's eyes revealed a hint of surprise, after which he immediately slapped the table and stood up, and said with a displeased expression, What are you so flustered about? Don't you know that we have honored guests tonight? If there's some important matter, 
Speak quickly. Elder Wen seemed to be denouncing the guard for losing his manner, but in fact, whether it was the smile in his eyes or his cheerful tone, both could not be hidden, making people feel that his acting was very fake. Shen Yang Xiao faintly glanced at him, acting so obvious like that when putting on a show. She really did not know if Elder Wen was stupid or an idiot, as one similarly putting on a show, Shen Yang Xiao's acting was definitely on a movie queen level. The guards quickly answered, outside the city lord residence, there there are ten people. The words of the guard had not yet been fully spoken when a loud bang was heard. The door to the hall was directly blasted away. For a time, a fog of dust permeated the air. Ten shadows slowly emerged from the fog. For a moment, the entire hall was silent. On Shen Yang Xiao's mouth hung the trace of a sneer, glancing at Elder Wen by her right side. Elder Wen appeared shocked on the surface, but his eyes were jumping with ecstasy. Who are you people? Elder Wen pretended to be ignorant and asked, but his tone could not completely be regarded as different from that cheerful tone just now. Although he was questioning, he did not dare to act disrespectful. The fog dissipated and the ten figures appeared in the hall. The ten people's appearances did not look too old, but their profound gazes revealed their true age. These ten people must have experienced the hardship of time. Although their faces were young, their eyes seemed to have experienced a lot of vicissitudes. Among the ten people, a handsome man stood at the forefront, arrogantly raising his chin, and looking across the people in the hall with contempt. When his gaze landed on Shen Yang Xiao, there was a slight tinge of hostility. Are you Shen Yang Xiao? The man directly ignored the inquiry of Elder Wen and glared at Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao still sat on the chair, propping up her chin with one hand and lazily watching the ten people with ill intentions. Exactly. Shen Yang Xiao did not hesitate to answer. Fourth, ignorant child. The man coldly and proudly harumphed. Did you kill Ruan Yings? Shen Yang Xiao shrugged her shoulders. You can interpret it like that. There was no difference between dealing with people using Xu's hands and using her own hands. Very well. At least you still have some guts. But you are too ignorant. You even dared to touch the people of the Broken Star Palace? Shen Yang Xiao, you know that you have committed a sin and can't be forgiven. The man sneered. Watching the disrespectful Shen Yang Xiao, his contempt was spreading to the surroundings. Broken Star Palace, the face of Long Fei, who was sitting on the side, immediately showed a terrified expression upon hearing those three words. Father, what is the Broken Star Palace? Long Zwei Ao looked nervously at Shen Yang Xiao. She had already realized that these people had come for Shen Yang Xiao. Chapter 1083, Counter Soldiers with Arms. 4. Long Fei's expression was a bit ugly. He had never imagined that Shen Yang Xiao would offend the Broken Star Palace. According to what that person said, Shen Yang Xiao had actually killed someone from the Broken Star Palace. How could this be good? The status of the Broken Star Palace is the same as that of the God's Domain. Little Xiao has really provoked people she should not this time. Long Fei whispered to Long Zweiao and secretly clenched his fist. He had heard some rumors about the Broken Star Palace and with his eyesight, among the ten people present here, at least nine of them were quite equal to his own strength, and as for that man at the forefront, he was unable to detect his strength. Obviously, his cultivation had exceeded that of Longfei. The Broken Star Palace had already existed for many years even before he was born. Longfei had only heard about it from the mouth of Elder Wen, but this was the first time he actually saw people of the Broken Star Palace, and their purpose was actually Shen Yang Xiao. Sin? What sin did I commit? Shen Yang Xiao chuckled, not putting the people from the Broken Star Palace in her eyes. You have already admitted to killing Ruan Yings. Now you want to deny it? The man roared angrily. Shen Yang Xiao smiled and said, So, actually? As it turns out, it's because of the man who had colluded with the traitors that brought calamity and chaos to my million bird clan. To think that Broken Star Palace is actually like this. Your famous reputation is being spread to the whole world, but unexpectedly, what you all are doing is to imitate the dogs and steal chickens. It really makes one exclaim in admiration. Shen Yang Xiao unobtrusively cursed the Broken Star Palace. 
Her expression was still as happy as usual. The face of the man in front immediately darkened. The broken star palace was formed by the ancestors who had participated in the battle of the gods and devils. The broken star palace was built for the purpose of taking in the strong human beings and delving into martial arts. Therefore, the people of the Radiance Continent also looked up to them. Although the broken star palace rarely got involved with the things of the world. As long as people had heard of the name of the Broken Star Palace, all would only feel like thunder had pierced their ears one, and those who had seen people from the Broken Star Palace were even more reverent and careful. When did the man hear someone insulting the Broken Star Palace? You really have great courage, doing things that offend heaven and reason, and unexpectedly still making delirious utterances. Shen Yang Xiao, you seriously don't think that because you are a primary second stage professional, you can run amok across the Radiance Continent unimpeded, do you? The man hollered at Shen Yang Xiao for being naive. Things that offend heaven and reason? Ha ha. Shen Yang Xiao seemed to have heard a joke as she suddenly laughed. She shook her head and looked at the man who was the head of his team and then said, I really didn't know that getting rid of people who wanted to kill my grandpa, and who had helped the Vermilion Bird Clan's traitors forcibly seize the clan, was a terrible thing, I say. Dear friend, your words really make me feel ridiculous. The man's face turned pale because of Shen Yang Xiao's words. Ruan Ying's helping Shen Duan with his affairs at that time was really unreasonable. Even if Ruan Ying's had done something wrong, you are also not allowed to dispose of him. The Broken Star Palace naturally has the rules of the Broken Star Palace. You shouldn't have killed Ruan Ying's without authorization, no matter what the reason is. Otherwise, it is difficult to escape the hunt of the Broken Star Palace. Shen Yang Xiao sneered at the man who was shoving false arguments down people's throats. If that was the case, wouldn't it mean that even if the people of the Broken Star Palace have done such a terrible crime, the world still could not hurt them? Otherwise, they would become an enemy of the Broken Star Palace? It was simply gangster logic. Moreover, Shen Yang Xia was not so stupid to believe that the people in the Broken Star Palace were not aware of the fact that Ruan Yings had lent Shen Duan a helping hand. She even feared that the Broken Star Palace had also extended a foot. Otherwise, what was the explanation for the sudden rise in strength of Shen Yifeng and Shen Duan? 1. It means they had a well-known reputation. Chapter 1084, Counter Soldiers with Arms, 5. The person was now dead and the dead could not testify. The broken star palace could only push all the blame to Ruan Ying's. Shen Yang Xiao was not an idiot, and naturally, she would not believe the words of the broken star palace. Now that the person is dead, arguing like this is just useless. Shen Yang Xiao was too lazy to talk nonsense with him. No matter how she explained, the broken star palace's idea had been set to the tune of gangster logic. So what was the use of being long-winded? Shen Yang Xiao's tough attitude made the people of the Broken Star Palace angry. Meanwhile, Luo Fan and Elder Wen's eyes were shining. They couldn't wait for Shen Yang Xiao's attitude to turn even worse. It was best if this hateful kid could provoke this group of people from Broken Star Palace more, so that they would break her into pieces. So what if she were a second stage professional? So what if she had a mythological beast? The other party had ten second stage professionals. If they were to start a wheel battle one, against Shen Yang Xiao, they could certainly wear Shen Yang Xiao down and kill her. What was more, Shen Yang Xiao had not come to the banquet together with that cheek seer who was also a second stage professional and also had a mythological beast in his hands. Instead, she brought along a handsome little boy, which was simply bringing about her own destruction. If Cheeksia were by Shen Yang Xiao's side, they might be able to cut a bloody path out together with their mythological beasts. But now, with her alone, it would be difficult to support herself. Elder Wen and Liu Fan were waiting for Shen Yang Xiao to die without a burial place. Compared to the expectations of Elder Wen and Liu Fan, Longfi and Long Zwei Ao had long been anxious. Longfi had always felt that Shen Yang Xiao's tempo was very kind. Even during the time they went to the Rising Sun City to ask her to release the curse on his body, Shen Yang Xiao did not make things difficult for them. Although Shen Yang Xiao was powerful, she was not arrogant. She was rather very gentle and courteous. So Longfi was unable to understand how Shen Yang Xiao, 
who was such a gentle person and never tried to offend anybody, could actually act tough to this point in the face of the broken star palace. From the very beginning, she was fighting them in a battle of words, which was simply pushing herself into desperation. Even Longfi, who was just listening, was secretly covered with cold sweat. Although Shen Yang Xiao was strong, compared to the broken star palace where strong people gathered, her single power was nothing. Moreover, the people that the Broken Star Palace had dispatched this time were ten second stage professionals, and one of them even had a strength that was beyond his and hers. What was Shen Yang Xiao thinking in the end? Good. Since you're going to die anyway, I indeed don't have to talk nonsense with you. The man laughed in extreme anger. It was the first time he had seen such a defiant little brat. A fourteen year old second stage professional was indeed rare but she should not have made herself an enemy of the broken star palace. The man at the forefront raised his one hand and the nine second stage professional standing behind him immediately stepped forward and were about to get into action. With nine experts as enemies, the disparity in strength could be imagined. Long Fei almost immediately rushed to Shen Yang Xiao, his tall figure arriving in front of her. There was a trace of tension on his handsome face, he cautiously looked at the people of the broken star palace, and courteously said, this one is the city lord of the blizzard city named Longfi, greetings to the experts of the broken star palace. The man heading the team slightly frowned, Longfi was covered in cold sweat all over, yet he still did not leave. Insistent in maintaining the smile on his face, he said, Lord Shen is still young, it is inevitable that she will lose some sense of propriety when interacting with some people in the world. The Broken Star Palace is a reputed strong organization that can shake the world, and also heroes who had once defended the Radiance Continent. I would like to request you to please forgive the rudeness of the young Lord Shen. I don't think Lord Shen is deliberately opposing the Broken Star Palace. She is just too young to have heard about the Broken Star Palace from her elders. Seniors. There is no need to bother about such a young girl. One, fighting against opponent one after another in a loop until the other side is beaten. Chapter 1085, Counter Soldiers with Arms, 6. Shen Yang Xiao had done a life-saving grace for both Longfei and Long Zweiao. Longfei simply could not just watch Shen Yang Xiao be killed in front of his own eyes. Even if he was afraid of the prestige of the Broken Star Palace, Longfei had to stand up and explain for Shen Yang Xiao's sake. However, Longfei's words did not ease the expression of the people from the Broken Star Palace at all. Instead, Liu Fan, who had been watching the show, suddenly said, Lord Longfei really knows how to make people laugh. Does Lord Shen really not know the name of the Broken Star Palace? Since the day Shen Yang Xiao dared to kill Ruan Yings, she must have already known the origin of Ruan Yings. Otherwise, how could these several seniors appear here without doubt? She evidently has a clear idea. Why must Lord Long make an excuse for her? Long Fei glared at Liu Fan. Liu Fan's words completely negated his explanation. Lord Shen has not yet reached adulthood. Even if she has heard of the name of the Broken Star Palace, I'm afraid that she didn't understand it very much. Thus, she offended people. Long Fei said, gnashing his teeth. Liu Fan sneered and retorted, Lord Long has to use Shen Yang Xiao's age again as an excuse. Don't forget Shen Yang Xiao's identity right now. The next clan head of the Long Xiuan Empire's Vermilion Bird Clan, the city lord of the Rising Sun City, and at the age of 14, she has already broken through the second stage profession. If you say that she is ignorant, I'm afraid that no one will believe it. In fact, Shen Yang Xiao is not an ignorant child. Her achievements have gone beyond the reach of many geniuses. Ah, Luo Fan appeared to be praising Shen Yang Xiao, but his words actually kicked Shen Yang Xiao out from being young and ignorant, indicating that she was naturally bright and extraordinarily astute when compared to others. This should have been a compliment, but right now, it had become a testimony proving that Shen Yang Xiao was indeed provoking the Broken Star Palace. You, Long Fei got angry. He knew that Liu Fan and Shen Yang Xiao had a conflict between them, but he did not expect that Liu Fan would go so far as to throw stones at the person who had already fallen down the well. Long Fei, in consideration to your ancestors who have friendship with the, the Broken Star Palace, I will temporarily disregard your offense today. Now step aside, you have no qualification to speak here, 
The man looked at Longfi contemptuously. So what if he was one of the five powers of the Divine Wind Alliance? So what if he was the city lord of Blizzard City? In the eyes of the people from Broken Star Palace, he was nothing but a nant. Longfi's face grew pale. He knew that his identity did not really have any weight in front of the Broken Star Palace. However, he did not dare to retreat. How could Shen Yangtze be able to rival these nine people from the Broken Star Palace? Big Brother Long, it's all right, you can retreat. Shen Yangtze's voice sounded from behind Longfi. Longfi worriedly turned to look at Shen Yangtze. Shen Yangtze smiled and shook her head at him. Today's matter is but an enmity between me and the Broken Star Palace. Big Brother Long does not have to implicate himself. Even after seeing the danger of the matter, Longfi still chose to stick up for her at this time. This kindness, Shen Yangtzeau had noted it down. But, Longfi still wanted to say something more but Shen Yangtzeau had already stood up and walked next to him, pushing him to the side. Shen Yangtzeau stood in front of everyone from the Broken Star Palace while Lan Fengla stood quietly beside her. The Broken Star Palace? Once the Temple of Human Heroes, now has fallen to the point of using their power to suppress people. It really is a shame for the people of the Radiance Continent to revere you. Shen Yangtzea coldly smiled at the leader of the group. Broken Star Palace had lost its sacred and moral character of the past. Today's Broken Star Palace was just home to a group of self-righteous bandits. Robbing other people's duchy and magic and using a different forbidden technique to transfer it to themselves. All these must be closely related to the forbidden technique research of the Warlocks. Chapter 1086, Counter Soldiers with Arms. 7. The leader's face was unsightly to the extreme. He looked at Shen Yangtze Ao with rage. Ignorant child, what do you know? I'd like to see how far you can go with your mouth. Shen Yangtze Ao coldly laughed and said, it's the truth. It's the truth. Very well. You can keep being mad then. Pretty soon, you will pay for your ignorance. You, including all the people of the Rising Sun City and Twilight City will not be let off by our broken star palace. The leader ruthlessly looked at Shen Yangtze Ao. What do you mean? Shen Yangtze Ao was slightly stunned. She suddenly felt an ominous premonition. The leader coldly smiled and answered, Do you think that you are the only one we're planning to kill? To tell you the truth, aside from us, there is also a group of people who have gone to the Rising Sun City's residence to kill your companions. I believe that it will not take long for you all to meet again in hell. You your companions, and even the citizens of the Rising Sun City will pay for your sin. We will use your blood to wash away the shame you have brought to the Broken Star Palace. They absolutely must not allow anyone to shake the prestige of the Broken Star Palace in the Radiance Continent. If one dared to go against the Broken Star Palace, whether it was a single person or an entire city, they would definitely destroy it. The smile on Shen Yangtzeau's face faded in an instant. She narrowed her eyes at the leader. You really are shameless people. For her personal matter, they would actually involve even the citizens of the Rising Sun City. You have committed a sin, all the people who are related to you must be punished. There was a sinister smile on the face of the leader. For him, consolidation of prestige was always built under a bloodbath. At this moment, Elder Wen and Luo Fan's mood was simply good to the extreme. They thought that the Broken Star Palace would only target Shen Yangtzeau. They truly did not expect them to be so vicious that they also intended to remove all those people associated with her. The two sinister people were howling with laughter. They were very much looking forward to the death of Shen Yangtzeau and her whole family. Punish? You still have to see whether you have that ability. Shen Yangtzeau's mouth evoked a grim smile. The leader immediately gave an order and heard the nine men attack Shen Yangtzeau. Shen Yangtzeau stood in the same place, in her eyes was a strong killing intent. The nine second stage professionals joined forces and launched an attack, in a moment, they would smash Shen Yangtzeau to the ground. But in the next second, a figure impressively appeared in front of Shen Yangtzeau. At the same time, a towering dragon's might or inspiringly charged in every direction and the huge impact crushed all the tables and chairs in the hall. Under the powerful dragon's might, the nine second stage professional actually recovered their attack and retreated to their original position. Before Shen Yangtzeau's figure, Lan Fengla stood proudly. At this moment, his usually calm eyes were covered by a strong intent to kill. The leader was secretly surprised. That split second dragon's might just now, at this very moment, 
he could clearly feel the same powerful strength of the dragon race from that youth's body. Dragon race, the strongest existence beneath the devil race. But after the war between the gods and devils, they had shown disdain towards the whole world. Whether it were their natural physique or their innate power, both were daunting. How can there be a dragon? The leader incredulously stared at Lan Feng Lai who was standing in front of Shen Yang Xiao. The dragon's might that his body exuded was so pure. There was a strong sense of oppression that could lead all the magical beasts to kneel down. But, have the dragon race not been living in seclusion across the sea for the past thousand years? Chapter 1087, Counter Soldiers with Arms Eight. The dragons and humans have agreements to not interfere with each other. Please do not get involved with the affairs between us human beings. The leader's expression was not looking very good when he realized the identity of the other party. The dragon race was well known to the world as a formidable race. Moreover, the dragon's might emitted by this boy was not from that of any ordinary dragon. If they really fought with him, the outcome would be unpredictable. Lan Feng Lai looked at him coldly and said, I'm not a dragon. What? Shock could be seen on the leader's face. How is that possible? You are clearly. Who I am has nothing to do with you. Today, you hurt my loved ones, I will not let you go back alive. Lan Feng Lai's eyes were brimming with murderous intentions. He did not pay attention to the leader's words and just walked straight towards the people of the Broken Star Palace. They dared to hurt Shen Yang Xiao so he would definitely not let them off. Even if they only hurt her with words, they still must die. Wait. The complexion of the leader changed greatly, but Lan Feng Lai still launched an attack at the closest second stage professional. His speed was as fast as a ghost. In the blink of an eye, Lan Feng Lai had already arrived in front of the person. The strength of the second stage professional was not as high as that of Lan Feng Lai. When that person realized that Lan Feng Lai was close, Lan Feng Lai's five fingers had already run through his chest, and his heart had been dug out. A bright crimson heart was beating in the palm of Lan Feng Lai. That supposedly strong second stage professional, who had his heart dug out, did not even realize what had happened as he immediately fell into a pool of blood. Lan Feng Lai's fingers gathered together, and the bloody heart was pinched into meat sauce by his fingertips. Kill them. Kill them decisively. There was not even a trace of hesitation nor indecision in Lan Feng Lai's actions. At this moment, Lan Feng Lai transformed back into that cold and ruthless killing god. One of the second stage professionals actually died silently, making the faces of the people from the Broken Star Palace utterly shocked. Kill him. The gaze of the leader revealed a hint of timidity. He did not know the identity of that boy but his brief shot had already shown his terrifying strength which was beyond that of all the people present here. If such a person were protecting Shen Yang Xiao, they feared that they needed to prepare for a big fight. The eight second stage professionals acted as if awakened from a dream, after which they all immediately charged towards Lan Feng Lai. In a flash, nine people had engaged in a fight. Meanwhile, the leader took this opportunity to rush towards Shen Yang Xiao. He was a second stage professional great sword master, and his strength had already surpassed that of ordinary second stage professionals. Shen Yang Xiao was definitely not his opponent. After he eliminated Shen Yang Xiao, he and his companions would get rid of that mysterious boy together. The leader's speed was extremely fast. In just a blink, he had already neared Shen Yang Xiao. However, the sword in his hand had yet to land on Shen Yang Xiao's body when a fiery flame rushed over him. Want to touch her? You need my permission first. Vermilion Bird, who had been shoved back in Shen Yang Xiao's body, appeared at this time. He was burning in flames in front of her. Damn. The leader looked at Vermilion Bird while gnashing his teeth. Before, he heard that Shen Yang Xiao would never take Vermilion Bird back into her body and most of the time, he was around her. Thus, since he didn't see Vermilion Bird today, he automatically thought that Vermilion Bird hadn't followed along. Vermilion Bird appearing here was truly out of his expectations. To think that the Broken Star Palace is capable of such injustice. You believe you can kill me? How about I kill hypocrites like you first? Shen Yang Xiao and Vermilion Bird prepared to fight side by side. The words and actions of the Broken Star Palace had already provoked her inverse scale. Her companions, her family, her people, she would never allow anyone to hurt them. Today, one of us must be buried here. Chapter 1088, 
giving a taste of one's own medicine, one. In Twilight City, more than twenty men appeared quietly outside the residence where the people of the Rising Sun City were staying. Senior brother Kane, aren't the elders putting too much effort into this? We're just dealing with a group of insignificant people, why deploy so many of us? A man looked at the pavilion before him in a somewhat bad mood. The man surnamed Gain slightly frowned. The elders told us that we only have to do it. We need not ask further about other things. But, the opponent this time is just a group of ordinary people. Our side actually dispatched 33 second stage professionals and two second stage great professionals. Isn't this suggesting we're thinking too highly of that Shen Yang Xiao? Senior brother Zhu also brought nine people with him. Even if Shen Yang Xiao has three heads and six arms, She's still just a little brat who has just broken through the second stage. Senior brother Zhu is too careful, can he not handle the other person alone? There were so many experts who wanted to join the Broken Star Palace, and almost all of the second stage professionals in the Radiance Continent had been snatched by them. The ones who were still living in the world, with the exception of Uyang Huani Wu, were people who had just broken through the second stage. There was really nothing for them to worry about. One must be careful in sailing a 10,000 year ship one. Senior brother Kian faintly answered. But in his eyes, a trace of disapproval could also be seen. But to think that they actually let you, senior brother Kian, who's a great magister, take us 24 second stage professionals to deal with shrimps and crabs too. I really don't know what the elders are thinking. That's right. Those who are under the second stage profession are all just ants. Why use so many people? Sending five people should be enough. This group of experts from the Broken Star Palace could not understand the task. All of them were once powerful figures in the Radiance Continent that had been recruited by the Broken Star Palace. Now, the current strong figures of the Radiance Continent were their own younger generations, and neither their talent nor strength could be compared to theirs. This was like killing chickens with a butcher's knife, hence, these experts were naturally dissatisfied. Blame it all on that Ruan Yings for being too useless, he actually let himself die outside. He's just trash. If he was gonna die then he should have died sooner. A group of people chatted about. There was not a single one of them who had put the people of the Rising Sun City in their eyes. In their view, although there was news before about six second stage professionals in the other party's ranks, this number was too shabby compared to the number of second stage professionals in the Broken Star Palace. How could people who had just broken through the second stage compare with those who had been cultivating in the second stage profession for a long time? Even if they were at the same level, the disparity accumulated over the years was enough for them to kill the other side. Anyway, let's just get done with this quickly and go back early. No need need to waste time here. Senior brother Kian was also very dissatisfied with this task. And what made him even more dissatisfied was that before they left, the elders told them that they should focus on eliminating the people around Shen Yang Xiao today. As for Shen Yang Xiao, they should capture her alive. The sinner who had killed a person of the Broken Star Palace must actually be kept alive. This senior brother Kian was unable to comprehend, so he had simply handed over the task of dealing with Shen Yang Xiao to brother Zhu, knowing that brother Zhu initially invited Ruan Yings to join the Broken Star Palace and that the relationship between the two had always been very good. The impact of Ruan Yings's death on him should be very great. He believed that even with the elders' orders, Brother Zhu would still carelessly kill Shen Yang Xiao. Yes, the crowd listened to their senior brother Kian and followed behind him to the pavilion. However, when they entered the lobby of the pavilion, they saw five handsome teenagers sitting at the table in the hall. All five of them were smiling and looking at their uninvited guests. One, caution is the parent of safety. Two, shrimp soldiers and crab generals. Useless troops here it suggests insignificant people. Chapter 1089, Giving a Taste of One's Own Medicine, 2. It's a pleasure to have you here, friends from afar. Did you come here as guests? Cheeksia lazily supported his chin with a hand as he looked at the many people standing in front of the door. His mouth was smiling but this smile didn't reach his eyes. The five members of Phantom sat in front of everyone which really made the people of the Broken Star Palace slightly stunned. They had noticed that the strength of these five people was more than that of ordinary second-stage professionals, especially the teenager who had spoken, 
whose strength could only be detected by their senior brother Kian. I didn't expect that there would be a great magister in such an insignificant city as the Rising Sun City. Senior brother Kian determined the strength of Cheeksia with one glance. Looking at Cheeksia, he seemed only seventeen years old, yet he was actually already as strong as him. He could not help but become very surprised. When senior brother Kian had become a great magister, he was already fifty years old. Even so, he still had been called rare genius in a hundred years. But the talent of the youngsters in front of him was unexpectedly on another level. Even in the Broken Star Palace, one could not find a few people who possessed this kind of talent. Cheeksia slightly smiled. Senior brother Kian's heart was moved. The Broken Star Palace had always attached great importance on recruiting powerful humans in the Radiance Continent, and the strength of these five teenagers in front of him was extremely high. Although he had heard that there were six people at the second stage profession among the people of the Rising Sun City, he did not expect them to be so young. They were basically still teenagers but they could already contend with members of their party. If they were to be trained well, they would definitely have great achievements in the future. Senior brother Kian stepped forward, quite haughtily looked at the five animals, then said, all of you have great talents. Why should you choose to follow Shen Yang Xiao who is ignorant and incompetent? Our Broken Star Palace has always favored talents like you. If you are willing to enter the Broken Star Palace, there will be greater progress waiting for you. Seeing your talents today, I cannot bear to ruin you. If you renounce the dark and seek the light, one, I can give you a way out today. Senior brother Kian was not worried about Cheeksia and the others refusing. The strength of the five animals was indeed high but their number was very small. If they really got into a battle, they would not be their opponent. Moreover, just how noble was the name of the Broken Star Palace? Even if others smashed their heads to the ground, he was afraid that they would still not be able to enter. But now, since he was personally inviting them, he believed that no one would refuse his offer. Cheeksia slightly raised an eyebrow and looked at the other four animals. The Broken Star Palace looks like a formidable existence. Cheeksia said with an expression that was a smile, and yet not a smile, on his face. Tangnazi nodded his head and said, that must be one of the two strongest organizations in the Radiance Continent. It's certainly formidable. Such an organization actually invites us to join. I suddenly feel that I've been given a great deal of face. Yang Zai pretended to feel deeply moved. Right, I am so honored. Li Xiao I smilingly said. My heart is racing from excitement. Yan Yu rubbed his chest. Senior brother Kian showed a little smile. Their main purpose was to fight Shen Yang Xiao. Killing off the people around her or digging off the people around her were basically the same to them. The five teenagers in front of him were very much qualified to join the Broken Star Palace. As for the others, they would of course kill them. Since you have agreed, you only need to wait for me to kill the other people of the Rising Sun City. Then you can formally join the Broken Star Palace afterwards. Senior brother Kian said, looking as though he were giving them grace. Pu Tangnazi suddenly laughed aloud. Senior brother Kian frowned slightly. Cheeksia lazily fiddled with the white jade bone fan in his hand and smiled at the people of the Broken Star Palace. I think you may be mistaken. I have already joined Phantom and I will not abandon it in this life. 1. To give up one's wrong way of life and turn to a better one. Chapter 1090, Giving a Taste of One's Own Medicine. 3. Senior Brother Kian had never imagined that there would be humans in this world who would unexpectedly refuse to join the Broken Star Palace, and the reason was actually another organization that he had never heard of before. Phantom. What kind of organization is this? I've never heard of it before. Who formed it? They must remove all possible threats. Cheeksia smiled and folded the fan in his hand. He then pointed it to himself, Tangnazi and the rest of the animals, me, him, 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 and little Xiao. The six of us have formed it. What? Could it be that this gentleman is interested in joining? The face of senior brother Kian suddenly became livid. He was not an idiot. As soon as he heard Cheeksia's answer, he knew Cheeksia was toying with him. Seems like you don't have any sense of shame at all. If not because I saw that the several of you have talent, we would have already killed you. Since you can't distinguish good from bad, then we don't have to be polite with you. Cheeksia smiled and retorted, by all means, don't be polite to us, we'd like it more if you are rude. 
the people from the Broken Star Palace had been completely irritated by Cheeksia's words. They had never seen such an unreasonable member of the younger generation, who could not even tell good from bad. Kill them all. Senior brother Kian immediately ordered his men to slaughter this group of naive people. 24 second stage professionals rushed to the members of Phantom almost at the same time. 5 people resisting 24 people was an almost impossible feat. Even if their strength were equal, the difference in numbers was enough to obliterate everything. Many bullying the few. I'm so scared. Ah. Cheeksia chuckled. The moment when the people of Broken Star Palace charged into the hall, the folding fan in his hand had disappeared and was impressively replaced by a platinum staff. The next second, icicles dropped from the sky and directly hit the people of the Broken Star Palace. Ice and snow rainfall. Senior brother Kian was shocked to see an exhibition of Cheeksia's high-level magic. He was also a second stage professional great magister, and he could also use the same magic, but, whenever he used this magic, he needed at least two to three seconds to chant. But this teenager actually casted such a high level magic by just directly waving his staff. This fellow was apparent. The ice and snow rainfall was not very damaging, but it had an extremely strong deceleration effect. Although the falling icicles did not hurt anyone from the broken star palace, each of them felt that the earth under their feet seemed to carry a kind of adhesion, so their movements were very slow. At this time, Yang Zai grasped his heavy shield and sword after which his figure turned into a silver light in an instant, just like a sharp blade charging toward the ice-covered group of people from the Broken Star Palace. At the same time, Yan Yu threw out seven totems, covering Yang Zai's whole body with the tyrannical shield of light. Glorious shock. Yang Zai roared in a low voice as he rushed into the enemy like a beast rushing into its prey. In the blink of an eye, several second-stage professional magisters, who had poor defense, had been knocked away by him upon collision. It was absolutely a devastating blow when a paladin, such a sturdy and highly defensive profession, rushed into the ranks of the fragile magisters and archpriests. Hence, the nearby paladins and swordmasters on the other side immediately pounced toward Yang Sai. However, just as they were about to close in on Yang Sai, a bursting sword chi directly opened a crack resembling a long dragon in the ground before them. Tangnas's giant sword slashed into the earth, tearing the entire ground. His handsome face at this moment carried a crazy smile which was full of excitement. Meanwhile, the magic archers were just about to shoot their arrows when the magic missiles of Cheeksia immediately flew toward them, not giving them any chance to shoot at all. 